A step-by-step -step guide to completing a remote oral health check-in for the oral healthcare team. This video will explain the process of completing a remote oral health check-in for a child or young person with a learning disability, autism or both, in a special education setting. What is a remote oral health check-in? An opportunity for a child or young person to meet you over a virtual platform and discuss the health of their mouth. This can include any problems they are experiencing and any queries they have regarding looking after their mouth and teeth. There is usually a support worker, parent or carer accompanying them during this process. Preparing for the check-in To make planning for the remote oral health check-in as smooth as possible, there will be an assigned staff member from the special education setting to liaise with you. When planning a remote oral health check-in, the virtual platform that will be used needs to be decided between the special education setting and the oral healthcare team. Examples of appropriate platforms include Microsoft Teams, Zoom or Attend Anywhere. Consent All remote health check-ins should be appropriately consented for in advance. The consent process will be the responsibility of the special education setting, but you should be provided with a copy of the consent form. Planning appointments. The date and time of the remote oral health check-in should be predetermined and supported by a completed medical history form, mouth check and pre-remote oral health checking questionnaire from the special education setting. These can be reviewed by the oral healthcare team before the appointment. Confidential information will need to be shared by a secure email or information sharing drive. It is essential that all data is kept secure, in line with the Data Protection Act. If there are any reasonable adjustments to be made, you can discuss these when planning the appointment. There is a social story which can help to explain and prepare the child for the remote oral health check-in process. Any electronic device with a camera can be used, provided it is secure and has the functionality for the virtual platform selected. A desktop or laptop with a detachable webcam can be useful for this purpose. The assigned staff member should find a confidential and quiet space for the remote oral health check-ins to be held. The setting may vary for each individual, dependent on where they are comfortable. In advance of the check-in, you may want to have a trial to make sure that all devices will be working on the day to ensure a seamless process. There is a flowchart available to support this. The remote oral health check-in. On average, the process will take approximately 20 minutes and both parties should be accompanied by a chaperone throughout. During the check-in, you will introduce yourself to both the child or young person and their chaperone and confirm their identity to make sure you are speaking to the right person. Communication should be adapted based on information gathered from the completed paperwork. If the child or young person is non-verbal, the questions may be directed towards the chaperone to respond on their behalf. Every effort should be made to involve the individual themselves. Relevant questions regarding any highlighted issues from the completed documentation and questions about the current mouth care routine should be asked. You may prompt the chaperone to look inside their mouth with a pen torch to assess cooperation and reconfirm the findings of the mouth check. This will be an opportunity for you to gauge how cooperative the child or young person will be in opening their mouth. Personalised mouth care advice should be delivered to each child or young person and their chaperone. You may demonstrate any relevant mouth care products, tools and techniques that have been discussed. An opportunity should be given to answer any questions regarding mouth care advice or concerns they may have. From here, Complete the remote oral health check-in form and risk assessment. Each child or young person should be given a red, amber or green risk rating based on their oral health care needs. You will then develop an individualised mouth care plan for the child or young person, which should be shared with those involved in their care. The mouth care plan has a blank space to fill in regarding the individual's likes and dislikes whilst providing mouth care. A picture can be added in the This Is Me section. Subsequently, you will arrange a follow-up visit. This may be a further remote oral health check-in or a face-to-face -face visit with a dentist where required. The face-to-face -face visit should be arranged in the dental setting deemed most appropriate based on the needs of the individual. You may need to make a referral to a secondary or tertiary care setting where appropriate. 
If unsure, you may refer to the Planning Care Guide resource. After the remote oral health check-in, a letter of correspondence including the mouth care plan should be sent to all relevant parties involved in the child or young person's care. This may include the special education setting, their parent or guardian, dentist, general medical practitioner, social worker and any other relevant healthcare professionals. You should outline the findings, highlight any follow-up arrangements and offer a point of contact if required. This should be sent as soon as possible following the remote oral health check-in. Thank you for watching.